So I wanted to give you guys a couple little background stories before I started on my presentation. And no cheating, how many of you know what the Highland Inn is and what we do there? Two? Cool, so I'll go with like 95% of you don't know what the Highland Inn is. On a regular basis, I have to state where I work and what I do there. And the conversation always goes like this. Where do you work? I work at the Highland Inn. Oh, what do you guys do? And the conversation then turns to, to I create sports memorabilia. Oh, like the Super Bowl flip flop. And most people get big eyes, little face. I'm so excited. Sports. And they're like, so you must really like sports. And I say, no, not so much. I couldn't tell you a single thing about sports, but I could tell you all 27 years the Yankees won the World Tour Series, the fields they played on, who they played against, and their, their sports. I didn't mention that. Kind of depressing. But when I was hired there, I was 15. So I've been there seven years now. And the first day I was there, I met the owner. And he came to me and said, so, you know, you've been hired. What kind of sports do you like? I said, you know, I just, I don't really watch sports too much. She said, well, what, what's your favorite team? I said, you know, uh, the Bumblebees was the best answer I could give him at 15. <laughs> so he looked at me and he said, football, the Steelers. And I was like, yeah, they're cool running around on the field. And he's like, all right, your, your job's not in jeopardy or anything, but how much do you know of sports? And I looked at her and I was really, to be honest, if I'm sitting in front of a game at the union, he said, Go get the quarterback. I said, why? It's 25 cents. Thank God that joke saved my job. <laughs> <laughs> so the high limit. We create sports memorabilia, and we work with precious metals on a daily basis. We are able to design and lay out any concept that you want, whether it be photo mints, coins, mock them up, which is a template layout on a computer, and then produce them. So... I'm going to talk about 2D and 3D coins. There's two different ways. 2D is a flat image, high and low, black and white. And then a sculpted 3D coin shows sculptures of faces, rounded out smoothness. I work with the really boring stuff, because it's easy. I work with computer-aided designs, CAD. We, on Illustrator, lay out coins, and then change them to black and white layouts using your concepts and your ideas. This is our Super Bowl flip coin layout concept for the 48th. Oh, that's what it's going to We then send that die, is what we call it, to a uh, source outside of the Highland Mint where they do a copper etching with uh, acid and send us back this copper plate. Switching topics, 3D coins. A sculptor sits there over a painstaking nine-inch sculpt and hand carves out each little design into clay. I know it's hard to see, but usually on average, depending on the complexity, it can take a couple of days, a couple of weeks. From this clay, she works it and designs the concept and then changes it over to a hard plastic, where she then again sits there and modifies it in hundreds of millimeters, and she changes it back and forth between negatives and positives, flipping the image back and forth. Once she's satisfied and the art is approved by the person purchasing it, it's then changed over to a rubber molding, and then all the things, copper plate and rubber molding, go downstairs to the machine room. In the machine room, our computer-aided designs are then transferred onto an EVM machine, which is an electronic discard game. It sends thousands of electronic charges into a steel die, about mm, an inch, 39 millimeters. And we create a die. This takes on average mm, 12 hours, depending on the complexity. 3D coins are changed onto an epoxy where it then goes on to the Jean Vierre machine. And it takes this epoxy here, and it transfers it onto a die. 
starting in the center and working its way up. This process, depending on the complexity, takes between 24 and 48 hours. Are you now seeing why I'm a graphic designer and I believe you can see things? You then receive this negative image on your 39 millimeter die. That die is then brought over to the stamping room. But while all of this is going on, the customer has picked out its materials and its metal. We, on average, produce metals from um, steel, bronze, gold, silver. Silver is our main producer. We produce millions of dollars worth of silver a day. And this is the end. So I can't describe to you the whole processing of melting because I'm going to bore you and it's going to be completely uninteresting. So I'm going to. No, no, no. Just click the click the click the arrow. The pure silk container. Part of the process, for nine 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 fine silver must be converted to one thousand ounce bars and grain to the exact size and weight of the finished coin. The bars and grain are weighed and then loaded into the black furnace. Ten thousand ounces of silver are melted each time. The silver is heated to over 1800 degrees before it turns to liquid. Heat resistant asbestos suits must be worn for protection against the intense heat. A small crucible is superheated to over 2000 degrees. The pure liquid silver is then poured into a small container where it is then able to be poured into billet molds. The silver rapidly cools and hardens. It is then removed from the molds and quenched in water to further cool it off so it is able to be handled. The silver is constantly being weighed and inspected throughout the process. The pure. So that's our process of melting silver. Two things that were mentioned are the billets and the crucible. The crucible is the lit, uh, lit up container that holds the hot silver, and your billets are what we use to then go into the extruding room. From the extruding room, we have to heat up the silver to 1,000 degrees, and it is pushed through and then placed into this machine, which really extruding, really just simplified, is Play-Doh for silver, where you get long silver strips, and they are then brought into another room. This is a really long process, takes about four and a half hours. We then roll fill the silver into whatever diameter and shape that they're needed. We then go to blanking. Blanking is stamping of the coin without an image. We have now decided the diameter, we're now deciding the shape. We can do anything from rectangles, squares, circles, anything our customer desires. These are our different finishes. We have gold, we have two tone, which is the one in the center. Um, we have steel, antique, and bronze. We then go to our wash room, where we take all of our silver and dry it through um, sorry, we put it into a varnisher, which takes thousands of BBs, is what we call them, and polishes the coin until we are finished. We then take out all of the metals and transfer them into a drying machine with hot air that blows them dry. From there, we finally get to go to the stripes, which is a really cool part. Each one is taken two dies, where they are placed one on top of each other in a collar, which just holds them securely in place. And they are pressed down until you get your image. Depending on the proof, the cleanness of each image, we might strike them one to three times. So now that you've seen 
each of our processes. We now have a Super Bowl cake. 